Hello, my name's Jason. Welcome to the channel. This video is a sermon idea for Christmas. Preaching a Christmas message can be challenging. On the one hand, you want to be creative and interesting because people have heard this story many, many times in many different ways. On the other hand, you don't want to be so creative that the story is lost or unrecognizable. The goal then is to stay true to the Christmas narrative that everyone loves and expects, but in a unique and interesting way. This sermon idea checks both boxes. It's based out of Matthew chapter 1, verses 18 to 25, and I'm calling it a Christmas chiasm. The book of Matthew, and thus the New Testament as a whole, opens with the genealogy of Jesus. Verses 1 through 17 are all about establishing Jesus as the son of David. So a long list of human fathers is given to trace his royal bloodline even all the way back to Abraham. However, when we get to the end, we find that Joseph has a peculiar role to play. Instead of being listed as the father of Jesus, He's named as the husband of Mary. This sets up nicely the passage for our sermon, which is all about one of our most cherished beliefs, the virgin birth. First, this is how the passage might look in your Bible, depending on which version you have. In the NASB, it's one whole paragraph. Next, I want to reformat so each point of the chiastic structure is a new line. This particular chiasm is based on the work of Episcopal theologian Vincent Pizzuto, and it reads as follows. A gives us the parameters of the structure and bookends the chiasm with Jesus' name and reference to his birth. B highlights the absence of sexual relations between Joseph and Mary. C is all about Joseph's turnaround in regards to his relationship with Mary. First, he's going to divorce her, but then instead, he marries her. D, Joseph sleeps and receives instruction, then awakes and follows through. E is all about meanings of the name of Jesus. God saves us, God with us. And last, at the pivotal point of the chiasm, we have the heart of the message, and it's cued by the phrase, all this which is referring to all the events in the structure as a whole, were to fulfill that which the Lord has spoken through the prophet, that the virgin would conceive and bear a son. Matthew chapter 1, 18 to 25, is perfect for preaching a Christmas sermon in a new and interesting way. Not only does it center on the virgin birth, which is the crux of Christmas, but it also includes other important relationship dynamics that add beauty and nuance. Joseph's relationship to Mary, Jesus' relationship to people, and the Incarnation's relationship to the Hebrew Bible. So if stars and inns and mangers and shepherds and wise men are all feeling a bit overplayed, go ahead and give Matthew chapter 1 a try. The genealogy in 1 through 17 is all about Jesus being the son of David. And the chiastic structure from 18 to 25 is all about Jesus being the son of God. And that'll preach. <laughs>